Hi guys, today's video is quite long. It's mainly me having a rant and a rave and trying to keep myself on plan. So you might want to sort of skip through some of parts of it. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Good morning guys. Uh, how's everybody doing this morning? It's quite early. It's really horrible outside actually. Um, woken up really thirsty. Day five. So... Not looking forward to today because my husband's um, going out to take my parents' car for an MOT, my mum's car for an MOT with my dad. So that means I'm at home on my own all day with the children and there's a possibility to pick at things if I get tempted. I'm hoping I won't because obviously I don't want to, but we don't know, do we? We never know what's going to crop up. So, we've got a really nice couple come in today to see Taser. Look at this, these dogs are crazy. She uses him as a cushion. <laughs> She's going to miss him when he's gone, bless him. So yeah, we've uh, got someone coming today to see him, a nice couple. Um, and they're coming quite far, so I think that... Let me pop you down so you're not wriggling around. So yeah, they're coming from quite far. It's about two hours distance they're travelling to come and see him. So, they sound really nice and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they bond with him and he bonds with them. Just taking my tablets, these are those turmeric tablets that I take every morning. And then uh, my, I don't know, it's like pineapple extract type thing. It's supposed to be really good for the body. And then this one's really supposed to be really good for the body as well, for digestion and stuff like that. I originally started taking this when I had an operation because um, it's supposed to be good for healing. So that's why I'm taking those. But I'm only going to take them now until they've finished because, to be honest, I don't see a difference. But I guess... Some people do. My hair is a mess. It's very early. I've only just woken up. It's literally about half past six or something like that. So, I thought I'd show you what I've got today. We're all here in front of me. So, I didn't like the Cherry Bakewell bar in the end. Um, the first bite was okay and it was nice. It was very sweet. See, I don't really do sweet things. I'm more savoury. So, yeah. I can still, I can still taste it this morning, if that makes sense. But, I'm not keen. It's okay, but it's, it's too much and it's too sickly for my liking. So today, I'm going to try... I haven't tried this one. I'm going to try the chocolate orange flavour. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be quite nice. That one's 202 calories. Anybody else get really like particular over their products and how many calories they have in them? Because obviously I write everything down in my planner as I've shown you. And the chocolate tetras, the ready-made chocolates, they are like 215 calories and I feel like if I'm having one of those, I feel really bad because I feel like, wow, that's, if I, if I have that and my other products, that's going to bring me way over 800 calories for a day. If I only have the three product, products, then I'm going to be quite a bit over the 600 calories a day. So, yeah, does anybody else sit and think like that? Or is that just me 
going a bit crazy because I will tend to go, oh, 215, I'm not having one of those again. Whereas I prefer to stick to like the lower, lower calorie ones. So, yeah, so we've got the chocolate orange bar. This, so I'm going to have a strawberry shake this morning. Well, not this morning, about lunchtime I'll have that. I'm looking forward to that one actually. I'm definitely putting ice in it today. I'm not making a mistake again. Macaroni cheese. I quite like the macaroni. And I bet you can guess what this one is going to be. I don't even have to tell you. Yep, another chicken tikka. But I do really need to use these up, so... I need to get them eaten. And I like them, so... I'll have all my little things in my little box here. Um... When I, I get my kids to empty our dishwasher every day, um, little jobs for them to do. They're not young, they know they're old enough now to be doing chores around the house. And if they want the internet on, then they have to do things around the house. So obviously we have the, we have, as you've seen, we have a really long hallway. So our Wi-Fi won't stretch to their bedrooms. So we have to use booster boxes. Now the Wi-Fi will be on in here and they can come in here and they can do all their schoolwork and connect to the internet. After that, the internet goes off and it will not go on until after three o'clock. So in order for them to get the internet on, they have to do things around the house like empty the dishwasher, load it as they go along. Um, you know, my boys are teenagers and I don't know if anybody else has this problem or if it's just my kids, but I am so sick and tired of having to wipe the toilet seat before I sit on it because they can't aim properly. None of them. N none of the boys in this house can do it. So, um, that's another one. If, if I go in the bathroom and anybody has weed on the seat, they don't get Wi-Fi for the day because they're all old enough to know better now to clean it after them and, you know, don't keep leaving mess everywhere. Nobody wants to deal with that, especially somebody else's mess. So, yeah, they have like little rules around the house. Empty the dishwasher. Um, they've got to feed the rabbits in the morning, make sure they've got clean water and everything. Make sure they clean up after themselves, keep their rooms tidy, uh, little things like that. Just, it helps, doesn't it, really? You know, otherwise it feels like it's never-ending sometimes, that you I, you feel like a maid in your own house. So, yeah, I don't expect them to do too much, you know, just keep their rooms tidy, clean up after themselves. If you've had something to eat, wash it up, put it away, or put it in the dishwasher, and that's not too much to ask. So, yeah, if they want that, then if they want the Wi-Fi on, they have to do things like that. So, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I can't even remember. I think I'm still asleep. To us. Oh, so that's why I have my little fork in my basket as well. I love these. I got these on eBay. Or oh, no, it wasn't Amazon. I don't really buy anything off eBay. And, um... They're actually for bariatric patients, but I love them. They were really expensive. I think they're about £25, but you get the fork, the knife, and the spoon. And obviously I only use the fork and the spoon. I don't use the knife. But they're supposed to teach you to eat slower. So when you're eating these miniature meals, it does feel better. Anybody else look at other people's pictures on Facebook and Instagram of their meals prepared and think... That looks like loads and when you make yours up it just looks like nothing but i don't get that i am every day i'm looking at everybody's dishes and think oh that looks really good and it looks massive and i think how have they got such a large portion out of theirs and mine is tiny in my tiny little bowl i'm quite jealous actually saying that though i do find even though portions are quite small, they're just the right amount. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. Like, 
with my tea cut. If I, I know some people make two packets and have together. I don't think I could do that because I find that they get a bit sickly after a while. So one is just enough it to, they don't, obviously they won't make you feel full, full, but they do fill you up. So, um, somebody gave me a really good tip on how they make their products up because we were talking about I'm in a whatsapp group with some other girls and amazing people two guys as well poor guys I feel sorry for them because there's all us women and then I say all us there's only 10 of us in the group so there's us and then there's these two guys and you know what us women are like we tend to have a moan about our husbands and men in general and stuff like that so we have a moan about them and these four guys are like, hey, what about us? That's not fair. So I do feel a bit sorry for them. But we were talking about how, why do we have to drink or eat our products within the 15 minutes? Let me take these. And um, originally I was told it was because of the nutritional value. Um something happens to the nutritional value after the 15 minutes but apparently that's not true apparently um it's because the taste and the texture and everything else isn't as great and the shakes and that start to separate after 15 minutes so that is why they advise you to have it within the 15 minutes so somebody else was also talking about how they actually um so boil the kettle to make their products up they soak their product in the boiling hot water for about 10 minutes oh. and then they microwave it so last night I thought let me give it a try normally I can't I can't be dealing with waiting 10 minutes I know that sounds stupid because when you're cooking dinner it takes about half an hour or so anyway so but I thought let me give it a go so I was making my spaghetti I poured my 200 mils into my jug, poured my spaghetti in, stirred it up, added some salt and pepper and some paprika into it. And the best part is, is I was doing this in the dark with my candles because I tend to light all the candles at night and don't put the lights on. So I did all that, left it to soak while I edited some of these videos. Uh, then remembered I'd left it to soak after about 15 minutes. When added a tiny bit more water to it and I microwaved it for two minutes. And it was actually better than making it up as it says on the back of the packet. The It had expanded a little bit more. So I'm guessing maybe that's why people's portions look bigger than mine. Because it had absorbed the water. So it was like a bigger portion. And I was lazy last night. I didn't even put it in the bowl. I left it in the jug. And the best part is it didn't overflow. It did rise up a little bit but normally you know when you microwave it straight away you sitting there watching it if it's in a pint jug it's, you've got to sit there and watch your microwave and make sure this food doesn't overflow and it's a pain in the bum really but with this one because it's already soaked in to the pasta it it doesn't tend to rise as much when it's bubbling up so good good tip and it was softer the pasta was softer and yeah it was nicer so thank you for that tip uh, it was a good idea okay so I'll tap it so it's going to be quite a long day today I think because obviously Kane's going out I'm going to meet my mum and my dad at nine to take my mum's car and it looks miserable outside so that means the the girls can't go in the garden today and being a Saturday the boys are going to be like can we have the internet on can we have the internet on they're not going to let me swap this is my daily thing I have my cup of tea my painkiller my big bottle that you're leaning against at the moment. I love my I've decided to try the lemon and lime today. 
see how that goes. So I've got that there and I take my tablets, drink my cup of tea. But I woke up really, really thirsty this morning. Like, my tongue feels all prickly. Maybe I'm back in ketosis, or I hope so. So, I'm just really struggling with not picking at the kids' leftovers. That is the toughest part, because obviously having a two-year-old and a four-year-old, they never eat all the dinner, they always waste. Um, so we do give them smaller portions, but the odd chip, you know, the odd bit of pizza or something like that, usually that's, I would pick at that. So that is the hardest part for me is not picking. My daughter, she has a crust that's cut off her toast, not her toast, her sandwiches. And I would tend to eat her crust. So that's tough. Uh, but other than that, day five, five again. I'm a bit miffed at myself, you know, because otherwise I would have been on maybe around day 30. I would have been a month, nearly. No, maybe 26, 25, 26. I don't know, something like that. If I hadn't have come off plan. So... Day five again, but I had a really bad headache yesterday as well. Really, really rubbish headache and just really bored yesterday. You know, I've tidied up, I've cleaned up. There's nothing to do. If I was hoping it was going to be nice today because if those that couple that come to see the dog do take him today, uh, I want to clean the garden, move the girls' Wendy house to the other corner move the bunnies, um, we've managed to find new homes for all our baby bunnies because our rabbit had babies just at the start of lockdown um, in April, well, it wasn't really the start was it, it was halfway through, she had them on our wedding anniversary, how crazy is that, so yeah, we've got six baby bunnies out there to contend with at the minute. So I moved, I'm thinking about moving the hutch, we took our gazebo down yesterday, the um, when we had that really bad winds a little while back, it took the roof off the gazebo completely. And we kept it up most of the time because it was like a shelter my husband smokes. And he doesn't need to go out there and smoke because we, we have a drive with um, like a cover over it. Because we've got two disabled children. So they built us a drive and it has a, like a lean-to on it. So when we're getting in and out of the car with the wheelchair and stuff, he doesn't get wet if it's raining and things like that. So you can go out there. Um, we don't have, I don't allow smoking in the house at all. So we had the gazebo up um, and we used to have a hot tub out there, would you believe? It's in the garage at the moment because when we got the dogs, um, one of them chewed through the lead and we had to re repair it. And then I had visions of him weeing up it and stuff like that so I was like no take it down put it away so that's in the garage so we're hoping to maybe get that out again because the little dog she wouldn't she won't wee on it she's she, she won't wee anywhere apart from right by the back door she's terrible like that she's as soon as she gets out there she wants to come back in again so she's like I've had a wee let me in let me in let me in <laughs> pain but anyway so yes, day five, I've got my products ready. I'm going to have my shake later about lunchtime with the kids when they have their lunch, if I can hold out that long. I'm trying to find out a good sort of routine to get into because yesterday I was really struggling with wanting food. I was really hungry yesterday. Maybe it's because it's the time of the month. Maybe that's why I'm wanting food more. I did jump on my scales and I'm still the same I haven't lost any weight and that I think that's starting to demotivate me a little bit I know I shouldn't be doing it but normally when I do go down in weight it motivates me so not dropping in weight is making me feel like why am I doing this I'm starving myself and I'm not losing the weight everybody else is having these great losses and I know don't compare yourself to other people it's your journey 
But when you've gone from eating God knows how many calories a day, thousands really, if you think about it, every time you pop a bit of cheese in your mouth, a bit of ham in your mouth, or a packet of crisps, I don't really eat many packets of crisps much, so a packet of crisps or a cheese sandwich, or my cappuccinos that I was having about eight of a day, they were at least 65 calories each. Uh, on top of that, then there would be things like the odd bit of really dark chocolate. Um, I'm trying to think what I used to eat really, because when I weren't on plan, because I don't really, don't really eat a lot. It's more boredom. So I would eat cheese, pick up cheese, cheese and crisps. I love cheese and crisps together, mixed together. Um. Toasties, cheese and ham toasties. I think the worst part was in the evening because if Kane was hungry and I was hungry, we would then have a bacon sandwich or an egg and bacon roll or chicken nuggets in a wrap with chips, ketchup and mayo. Why oh, do we talk to ourselves? Or because he writes, he would say, I'll jump on the bike and pop to McDonald's or I'll jump on the bike and pop to the chip shop. And I'd be like, yeah, go for it, you know. Oh, I could just eat a fish and chips now. And I'd have just had my dinner. Like, I'd have just had, like, cottage pie and garlic bread and veg and stuff. And then we'd be sat there eating damn fish and chips because we fancied it. Not because we were hungry. It's just because we fancied it. So, to go from eating all that junk in a day down to six to 800 calories a day and then not lose weight it's a bit disheartening really isn't it but then I know it does work I think maybe it's just because I'm having a bad couple of days you know and falling off plan trying to get back on plan then time of the month and that but I haven't had one of those since February so it's been quite a long time coming I do really need to go for another run I really need to do that actually but I've been so tired in the evenings and I won't go in the day just because it, I feel really embarrassed to go in the day. I don't want people looking at me in the park running around like, ah, look at her fatty trying to run. I don't can't deal with things like that. So I normally wait till it gets dark. And then because the weather's changed at the moment and the clocks went backwards, forwards, backwards, I think it was. It's a lot lighter at night, so that means I have to wait till a lot later. And by that point, you just don't want to go out for a run, do you? So I'm really thinking about taking that up again. I'm not taking it up again, just going for my next run. Um, maybe thinking about like doing some exercising at home. I think it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't in this lockdown, because we'd be out and about and walking a lot more. But at the moment, we're just sat here all day every day because there's nothing to do play with the kids a bit clean up tidy up put the washing on put the washing away cook and then sit here because what else is there to do what's everybody else doing in lockdown when you can't go out you're not allowed out at all and you've cleaned your house over and over again my washing machine's on, it's really noisy. I hate living in this open plan. I really hate open plan living. But unfortunately, because of my son's wheelchair, we have to have it all open plan so that he can get around. So, yeah, what's everybody else doing to keep themselves occupied? Especially when you want to eat. Because I, I bought a word search, but I, had, I think I did one and that was it. Play some games on my phone watch a few YouTube videos. Also, who's that, who do you follow on YouTube? That'd be a good one. Comment below and let me know because I'm looking for other people to follow on YouTube. Um, other people's journeys to watch. So, let me know. Um, that'd be interesting. Obviously, I watch Louise and Mary and their videos are both great. Uh, but I need to find some more because I'm always like come on girls upload your video you know and I normally watch them when I go to bed at night and then I'm like oh, I can't find any more to watch you know they're very much all just before after this is what I did it nobody actually does a day-to-day -day journey vlog like I'm doing and like they do and 
I find sitting and watching these videos passes a bit. I mean, I've been rambling away now for 24 minutes, so I find it helps me pass a bit of time where in that time I would genuinely normally be sat here going, what can I eat? What can I eat? Opening and closing my fridge about 20 times, looking in the cupboards for food that I'm not going to take out and eat because I'm on plan. So yeah, comment and let me know. Who do you follow? Any recommendations for what y'all are doing in this lockdown? I'm hoping it's going to start easing up a little bit, but then I'm also a bit scared to send my kids out because they are quite vulnerable and high risk. It's a fine line, isn't it, between going crazy, being in the lockdown and wanting to get out for a little bit and keeping everybody safe and being overly precautious and keeping them all in the house. So anyway, I'm going to go and drink my cup of tea. Um, wake my husband up in a little bit to go with my dad and I will jump back on when I'm making my strawberry shake because I haven't had one of those yet so I'm looking forward to that and I'm going to be using my new Nutribullet so that'll be fun too oh, and I used my new Hoover yesterday that was amazing I'm a bit weird like that I like new gadgets um I love new hoovers. I, my husband was like, should I open the box and get it all out? I was like, don't touch my hoover. <laughs> Anybody else possessive over things like their hoovers and their blenders and mixers? Yeah, I'm a little bit weird like that. Anyway, I'm also thinking about making some oat cookies for the kids today. I, I want to do baking, but I don't want to bake because then I'll be tempted to eat it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to drink my cup of tea. And I'm pretty sure you're all bored of me rambling on by now. So I will chat to you all later when I'm making my strawberry shake. See ya. Hi, everybody. So this will be my last video today that I'm going to upload. Um, I haven't really been recording much during the daytime because I... Um, didn't have my product till quite late on and then I haven't had my last two yet I'm waiting for my husband to get home and then I will have the I will have my macaron cheese and my chocolate orange actually I might pop on again later when I try this one because I haven't tried this one yet and let you know what I think of it apart from that I'm just making some pasta for this brat even though he stood there eating cookies that my mum made. She made ginger nut cookies and she made chocolate cookies with Smarties on and sent round. Oh, I get he sleeps all day and then he gets up about four o'clock, has his dinner mm. and then is up all night and then wanting to eat. So now I'm having to make him one of those um, bachelor pasta packs because he's hungry. I'm hungry too, but I don't get to eat food. Anyway, so yeah, we had to wait all day for those people. I had to, so the people came to collect the dog today from um, Felix Stowe, feeling Stowe, feeling. Oh, I don't know, I'm not really good with names. So I didn't want to make my product because you could guarantee as soon as I went to make it, they'd probably knock on the door. So I held off and held off and held off because my husband had gone to do the MOT with my dad, hadn't he? Um, but then he got back in time, luckily. So I waited, waited, waited. I was really hungry. I was making the kids lunch and everything. I just really wanted to eat. Held off. They didn't go late. They got here and then they took the dog for a walk and stuff. And I thought they were only going to be like going around, the, you know, just up and down a little bit and be back again within no time. They were gone for ages. So I sat there waiting, thinking, come on, hurry up. I want to eat. Um, made myself a coffee first coffee I've had in a long time and uh, they ended up coming back and leaving at just gone four o'clock I was just so it was four o'clock when I had my first product roughly four four something so as when they went my husband went off on the bike to my mum's to pick up these damn cookies and whilst he was gone I put the kettle on to boil for the water to do my tea cup. But stupidly, I didn't close it. 
So there was me sat waiting and waiting and waiting for the kettle to boil till for a good sort of half an hour I would say and I was thinking to myself this kettle is taking the piss mate it's taking long to boil I just want my food so I got up and came and had a look and noticed that I hadn't closed it so the kettle had boil it just wasn't whistling at me to tell me it was ready we have this kettle because I prefer my water boiled like this on the stove than in an electric kettle. I find it gets a lot hotter um, and I like my things really, really hot. Even my shower, my husband says he turns into a lobster when he gets in there after me because it's so hot. It's just like, ah! Um, but no, I like my food really hot, piping hot to the point like you can barely eat it. It's so hot. So I prefer these kettles. So yeah, I uh, was waiting all afternoon for my food to then discover that I hadn't shut the kettle and it was ready ages ago. So I had my tea car this afternoon. I could have a strawberry shake now because I really want to eat. But I'm trying hard only to have three products today and I'll only have that if I really need it. So hopefully when Kane gets home in a little while, we're going to watch a film. I'm going to eat my macaroni in my bar while we do that. And he will pick out on his big fat kebab. Why is it so hard? Why is food such an addiction? So yeah. Apart from that, I have done my... I've done over five litres of water today. Um, I don't like the lemon and lime water flavouring. I've decided I really don't like that one. Um, I really like the pineapple. I think it tastes like fruit salads, so that, that one's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm okay today. Struggling a little bit. Really, really wanting food. Want to pick up the kids' leftovers. And it's boredom. This is the problem with this lockdown. You know, it's lockdown makes it easier because you're not socialising. So you're not going out. We're not going out on our bikes. We're not stopping off at the cafe, having a coffee and thinking, oh, sod it, let's have a breakfast while we're here or a burger or something stupid. But then it's harder because you're at home and you're bored. There's nothing to do. There's only so much I can clean the house and sort out the cupboards and... I was going to rearrange the garden today, but then it got a bit late and I was t I've been really tired today. So, yeah, this video is going to be really long today because I've just been struggling today, rambling on about random crap, I'm afraid. But it helps me get through the day, so you might just want to keep skipping through it. But, yeah, so day five done, almost. And I'm going to make this pasta for my son. Tell him to bugger off to his bedroom with it because I love cheese and broccoli pasta, especially with added cheese, which I'm about to put some grated cheese in it for him. And, and look, he's eating cookies. I just. And then I get a running commentary of like, oh, this one's really crunchy and this one's really chewy and this tastes like this and this tastes like that. and. I don't want to know what well, it tastes like. Them, Are they? Yeah, not they taste like proper cookies. I don't think they taste like cookies. That's what they are. Oh. Well, anyway, so that's it. That's from, that's all. I haven't really done anything today. The people came and collected the dogs. I have tidied up, cooked, cleaned, done a bit of washing sat on my bum all day, um, tried to resist the temptation of eating because I'm bored, um, so yeah, if you know any good series on Netflix to watch, let me know, because uh, we have Netflix, we never really watch it, so maybe I should start watching some series, I've been trying to look for some more videos on YouTube, but I can't seem to find any, not many people really post much about their journeys or well, they post like three videos or two videos and then they give up so yeah um had a really long chat with a friend today as well jess she's also on the diet and she's doing amazing i mean she has lost five stone in 
left. I'm not sure how long it has been, but it's not been that long, believe me. And she's just doing fantastic, you know. She's so strong and she has a little one. She has two little ones. And, you know, that alone is hard enough when you've got to feed your kids and then try and stick to a diet and feed your partner and whatever else. So, but she knows that I'm proud of her for sticking to it, even through the tough times. And if I can do this, anybody can do this. So just hang in there, stay strong. You're doing this for you. Nobody else like me doing it for me, doing it for you. Um, before you know it, you're going to be at your goal. You're going to be confident. You know, and you don't need to be beautiful because you already are. So, yeah. Anyway, here's today five over and done with. I will quickly jump on when I taste my bar and let you know what I think of it. See you later. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.